in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can make a fire orb just as you see on my YouTube channel. So first of all you're going to go onto my website which is right up here. You're going to go to offers and into actions and in here you're going to download the action that's called fire orb and I'm not going to show you how to install it because there's a video right up here that I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to press download, you're going to download it and install it and then you're going to go into Photoshop. And inside of Photoshop, you're going to create a new document or in the document that you want your file of. Um, and in that document, you're going to use the file of action. And you're just going to press it here and run the action. So this action will then go ahead and create the base of the file orb for you. And then this is where the technique comes in when it's done. It's just going to take a while because my computer is slow while I'm recording. So it won't take this long for you, hopefully. So now we have the fire orb here. And in your layers palette, you can see that it's a smart object. But here's the problem. You see how it's cut off the edges up here? Uh, the way to fix that is to open up the fire orb uh, smart object by double clicking on it and then moving out here then simply getting your eraser tool and just press E make it a very soft brush and then just sort of going around just like that and then make sure to save because otherwise it won't update so now I've saved it and I'm going to go into the previous document, which is the document where we're going to make the fire orb. And in here, we're going to move the fire orb up again. And we're going to get the smudge tool. And you can either do this in the document and rasterize your smart object, or you can do this in your, um, in your smart object. But I'm just going to rasterize it here. And then I'm going to zoom in into the um, fire orb here. And with my smudge tool, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And the hardness around 6. And I usually use the strength of 55. I find that to work really well. And I'm just going to drag from around the middle here. And I'm going to drag outside of the fire orb. And again, I'm sorry, this is going to take a while. But um, you're just going to have to bear with me. So what this will do is it will smudge the colors in between and it's going to make a sort of fiery curvy effect that's going to go up through. And this is basically the technique that you're going to apply. And I can see it's taken a horrible amount of time. So I'm sorry for that, but you're going to see it how it's going to work here. And it's going to start off looking horrible. But as we do this a couple of times with a bunch of big strokes we're going to start to make a fire effect and then what I like to do is make a really small brush and zoom right into it and make very very small small flames inside of it and it's going to create a really really good effect so I'm not even sure if it's done yet it's probably not but um, I'm just going to pause the video here and I'm going to do these first couple of big strokes and then I'll come back for the smaller one. Alright, so as you can see, now I've made a couple of the bigger strokes and it's starting to take shape. doesn't really look all that good, so we're going to zoom in here. And of course, now I'm making this flame really small because otherwise I'm going to screw this video up totally uh, on the time base. So um, you can always make it really long so it sort of looks like a shooting star or something. Uh, this is just a technique that you're going to use for it. So make your brush really small and you can actually go ahead and increase your size. I'm just going to see how it goes here. And then just sort of pretend that you're the fire going up and through this. So just drag all the way up and get an even smaller brush. Just the smaller the brush is, the more detail you're going to have and it's going to look a lot better. So go up just like that and just all the way up through this and just keep going. So again, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to come back when I finish to show the finished effect. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and um, I've finished it here. And 
you can never really say you're finished with this because you can make it as realistic as you want to just by putting more time into it. But I think you get the 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 idea and the technique here. It's just that pretend you're the fire and then play around with the strength here because you can start off with a high amount of strength, even up to 100%, and sort of draw the shape of the first flame and then in there go in with a uh, smaller strength and then make those small flames in there. So um, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.